yeah everyone this is Sierra Ravi Agrawal so in this video I'll be telling you how to score a very good marks in each and every paper that you give or at least your passing should be guaranteed. So number one uh, you should reach your exam hall on time and at least 10 minutes before your exam start you should close everything there should be no books around you right just close everything and just relax your brain because you're gonna write in that three hours Okay, so your brain also need break where you're just chilling it out and you're just relaxing and just telling your brain that chill, relax, just calm and be confident that yeah, you're going to win it, you're going to pass, you're going to score a good marks, you're going to have a good paper and just give positive instruction to your brain and just uh, if you can do 10 times, breathe in, breathe out, inhale and exhale. Yeah, just do it for 10 times and just be ready. Yeah, I'm all set. I'm all ready. I don't care about what I couldn't do. I just know that whatever I've done, I'll make a best use of it. Whatever that is stored in my brain, I'll just get it and I'll just use it and I'll attempt the entire paper. Be ready with this. Okay, prepare your brain because preparing your brain before exam is so important. All right, then. now comes the role of 15 minutes reading time where your first two minutes will go in writing your details, your roll number, your subject uh, name and all everything. Okay, so now you're left with 12 to 13 minutes of that 15 minutes reading time where you are going to decide that which question you're not going to attempt. All right, see, generally the first question is compulsory. So just for the time being, ignore it and just go through each and every question. Ki hai, this is question number two and it talks about this and it belongs to this chapter. Next, this is question number three. It talks about this. It belongs to uh, this chapter. This is question number four. Oh my God, I do not know about this. This is question number five. Oh, I also do not know about this, but I think I can manage it. So, so find out the question which you think you cannot manage it at all and even if you do it you will not get a step marking so find out the not the, find out the worst question like which you cannot manage it at all so mark it this these are the two questions which i think i'm not comfortable with and this is the worst one all right so here in this 15 minutes reading time when you, you have to find out the which is the question which you are going to leave and you, you need to have a fair idea about each and every question not in detail but just just go through ki haan, this is question number and this belongs to this chapter and this talking about something like this so you're ready about the question you have a little idea and if your reading speed is very very good so you go go in detail in that 12 minutes time okay and if you are like normal student average student so at least you should have a fair idea okay, this question is talking about this chapter and it's somewhere related to this and this is a question which i'm leaving so this is a roll of 10 minutes and next comes a very important time your three hours which will decide your pass result which will decide your very good marks all right then so number one to start with here the role of speed writing speed matters a lot so from the beginning, that is from uh, the time when it starts till the time it ends, you should maintain the speed. Generally, it is found that a first hour student is little slow and then they finally picks up the speed. You'll say, that, sir, it's obvious, but no, if you are to pass, if you have to score a good marks, you have to maintain the speed from the beginning. Very important. See, there, 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 there's going to be a two situation. Either the paper is going to be very, very easy or the paper is tough. If the paper is very, very easy, then it's going to be a lengthy one. So you got to maintain the speed from the beginning. All right. And now what if the paper is very, very tough? If the paper is tough, then it is tough for all. How to manage this? This is so important. So here in this situation, you got to find out your 30 to 32 marks. Just turn the pages of the question paper and find out where is your 30 to 30 marks, which is the question which you know as it is and it carries 30 to 30 marks. Okay, so see the paper is of 120 marks approx. And uh, out of that 30 marks, I'm sure you know about it. Even if you've not studied anything, even if you're not comfortable with the paper, and even if the paper is tough or whatever be the situation, 30 marks out of that approximately 120 marks, you know it. Okay, so you just find out, ki, huh, this is the 30 marks, did too, I know it. So if you get 30 on 30 there, because you know it as it is, and the remaining 70 marks, even if you get step marking, or even if you uh, think that you're not sure about it, even if you attempt it properly, just attempt it, don't you think that out of that 70 marks, 30 is nowhere gone. Only about 30, 20 is nowhere gone. So 7, 30 plus 20 here, it becomes 50. And out of 70 marks, I'm sure if you've written it all, then 30 is nowhere gone. So exemption is done. 
so whatever be the situation whatever be the question you should know how to tackle it as and when you get the questions just quickly find it out where is my 30 marks where is my 30 marks which i know as it is right and if you if you know your 30 marks as it is your passing is nowhere gone you're done you're done buddy you're done and rest of the 70 marks, even if you are not comfortable, if it, see, you think you do not know, you think, you what if it is wrong, what if, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know, you just write it, no, because what you think is not the fact, what you think is not the reality, you're thinking that it is wrong, but examiner may correct it, it may be right according to the examiner, it may be wrong according to you, so you do your formality, you don't skip it, you don't leave it, you attempt it, you attempt it full, so your work your scope is to get the uh, find the question which you know the best which you think i am like all okay i am like i am comfortable with this write it quickly finish it very fast and then uh, like whatever you don't know but you have to attempt the full paper and you will score a very good uh, decent marks okay so if you follow this rule okay uh, 30 to 40 marks you write it as it is you know it well i'm sure and then remaining you just attempt trust me you're gonna score a very good marks see the paper is easy you know everything you got to uh, speed it up you got to do it very very quickly okay and if the paper is little tricky or your preparation is not up to the mark then you got to follow this 40 rule of mine 40 marks rule 30 to 40 marks rule where you just Quickly speed up with that 40, 30 marks, whatever you know, just write it because you know as it is, you've practiced it, you've seen it before. So do not waste time here. Do not waste time in uh, giving a detailed presentation. Write it. Yeah, presentation matter, but as soon as possible because you've done it, because you've seen it, write it quickly with uh, maintaining a very good speed. And then uh, the person which you're not comfortable with, attempt it. Just trust your brain. Just think that this powerful brain will get you uh, good marks and just uh, apply your brain, think normally, think logically and just attempt the entire paper and then you check out the marks, you'll be passing. So your brain will play a very important role where you're not comfortable with the question paper. You should just trust your brain blindly and just write everything. So that's why I'm telling you fear is not in your syllabus. Anxiety, negative energy, uh, these things are not in your syllabus. Do not allow this negative virus to enter your mind because this, these virus makes you weak. It makes you weak here. Yeah. So before you enter your exam hall, okay, before you enter your exam hall, tell you tell this negative virus that listen, you are not allowed. I'm not going to allow you to enter my mind. So just be relaxed, calm, easy, and attempt your entire paper very very wisely and follow my rule 30 to 40 marks rule where your passing is nowhere gone where your good marks is nowhere gone with this in mind i hope you are going to crack it you are going to win your paper each and every paper is going to be rocking you are going to rock it because you now you know the rule to crack any paper if the paper is damn easy you are a champion. But if the paper is difficult or you've not studied properly, this video or this information is going to help you to come out of it. All the best champion, win it. And yes, comment to me in the video that sir, I'm going to crack it at any cost. Go. All the very best from my side. And uh, all the best. Go and uh, just come back. And yeah, after coming from this exam, do not think about this, uh, whatever the exam was, whatever the exam was. Generally people go and they think that uh, maybe I will not be able to clear and they land up finally with exemption. So do not uh, think about the paper which you've just given, think about the next paper. And yes, don't forget to take that uh, last revision plan from me. Okay, after each paper, I'll be uploading on my Telegram channel, the revision plan for each subject, whether it is final, old syllabus, new syllabus, intermediate, IPCC and foundation. So guys, join my telegram channel and uh, I'll be supporting you like this all the very best. Today you are going to rock it. Today you are going to win it. Just keep your brain with you because your brain 
will only go in the examination hall nobody else will go your body will go with your brain so if you are keeping your brain happy if you are keeping your brain uh, stress free you are going to be a winner because it will help you to manage all the situation just help your brain right so keep it stress free and just win it and remember my 40 marks rule where you just going to get that 30 40 marks immediately which you know in the paper and rest you will manage by your own because i know you are the best and today you are going to win it go champion go go win it and before exam i'm wishing you all the best and after exam you tell me how was the paper i'll wait for you and for your passes all the best